Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the official weigh-ins of Glory 47 Lyon in the beautiful city of Lyon, France. The next stop for Glory Kickboxing, the world's premier kickboxing organization, having already paid visits to Paris and Lille and Nice and now Lyon. And we are thrilled to be here in the beautiful city. Coming up, the weigh-ins for the Super Fight Series, followed by our main card of Glory 47, which of course includes the light heavyweight championship of the world, five rounds with the reigning champion Artem Vahitov and Ariel Machado. Let me welcome once again to the stage with us to help us with our uh, weigh-ins today. Ramon Dalder from our talent ops department is here. Please welcome him. And of course, you'll recognize fighting legend in France's own, Jerome LeBanner, who is with us for our weigh-ins today. Also like to welcome once again our Chief Executive Officer, John Franklin, who is here to make sure the weigh-ins come off. And thanks to Raffles, who is always here with us to uh, get our official weights done for the card. Let me bring up our glory girls as well. Alyssa, Stephanie, and Bella, who will be with us tomorrow night for Glory 47. And of course, it happens at the Palais de Sport de Jalon, and we hope if you uh, haven't already picked up your tickets, you will do so. It's the Super Fight Series that gets us started. And we begin with the welterweights, Alim Nabiev taking on Jimmy Vigneault. Nadiev fights out of Azerbaijan, comes with a professional record, 46 wins with six losses. He'll make his glory debut. Now doing his Muay Thai training in Russia. 76.1 for Nadiev. And Vigneault, here from France, of course, 58 and 12 with 33 career knockouts. He's a three-time European champion, four-time French national champion. Yeah. 76.4 for Jimmy. Vigneault going by the nickname of Blue Eyes. A WBC, WPMF Muay Thai world champion. This bout like most of our other scheduled for three three minute rounds. Second bout of the evening moves to the middleweight division of glory. Max Vorovsky taking on Yasin Arwin. Vorovsky fighting out of Estonia, 29-3 and 1, with 15 career knockouts. 84.3. 84.3 for Vorovsky. His opponent fighting out of Bordeaux, France, Augen. 32 and 6 with a career resume, making his glory debut. Boom Boom, a French national Muay Thai champion. Eighty-three point eight for Augen. Then we turn our attention to the women's bantamweight division, Funda Alcayas and Anissa Mexen. This is a rematch of a 2014 matchup. Alcayas fighting out of Turkey, currently ranked number eight in the Glory World Rankings, 32 and four with 13 career knockouts. She debuted in Virginia at Glory 32 and had a win over Vanessa De Whaley. 52.5 for Alcayas. And of course, Anissa Mexen, currently ranked number three in the Glory World Rankings with a very impressive professional career. 92 wins with just three losses. Matter of fact, she's undefeated in the last four years of competition, an 11 time French and world champion. Like 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 
52.8 for Mexen. Anissa made her debut at Glory 43 and had a victory over Johnny Menendez of uh, uh, Brazil in New York City. Ladies love my style at my table getting wild. And then it's to the light heavyweight ranks at all French battle. Abdurmani Koulibaly taking on Florette Kawashi. Koulibaly fights out of Paris, 57, 20, and 1 with 25 career knockouts. He's a 2010 European Muay Thai champion. 92.7 for Koulibaly. And his opponent also making his glory debut, Florent Kawashi. Undefeated as a professional, 11 and 0 with three knockouts. A reigning ISKA world champion, won a four-man tournament earlier this year. 93.9. And then our headline super fight, it's the featherweights, Masao Glunder and Dylan Salvador. Glunder's been very busy in the glory uh, ranks lately. Fighting out of the Moluccan Republic at 30 wins, 10 losses, four bouts scored even, and 20 of those wins coming by knockout. This will be his fourth glory appearance. 64.9 for Glunder. And then fighting at home in front of his friends and family, Dylan Salvador from right here in Lyon, France. Now we understand Dylan is uh, not here at the moment to get up onto the scales, uh, but Dylan, of course, uh, contender tournament champion. And that will be the headline super fight. We'll then take a, a short break inside the arena and get things ready with a change of canvas for uh, Glory 47 Lyon. Before I get to the fighters, though, let me bring up let me bring up our play-by-play -play voice of uh, Glory events, Mr. Todd Grisham, who has some information about how we finish a very busy year. Hello, everyone. Thank you for that warm round of applause you gave me there. Okay. Hey, appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're excited to be on SFR Sport 5 here in France. They've been a great television partner for us, so we're excited about that. Also, for those of you watching in the United States, you can see the Super Fight Series on UFC Fight Pass, and you can see Glory 47 uh, live on ESPN3. It also re-airs Sunday night, 10 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2. Uh, I'm sure all of you have heard by now about uh, Glory Redemption, December 9th. That is going to be on pay-per-view exclusively on UFC TV. Tickets are selling very well. So for those of you watching in Holland, Germany, Belgium right now and are considering going to that fight, of course, it's Rico versus Jamal Ben Sadiq. Make sure and get your tickets right now because we are expecting it to sell out in Rotterdam. Without further ado, let me bring our president to the stage right now as a few more announcements. John Franklin, everybody. Thank you, Todd. As always, great to be back in France. The fourth time I've been here, and uh, Glory's coming back to France. It's one of our, our top and designated markets um, around the world. Well, I've actually been in France a week now. I was down on the edge of France in Monaco at the Sportel television trade show. And I'm happy to announce that we have uh, signed up with a couple of new television partners. Can't say who they are yet, but for 218, we will be in um, four or 500 million more homes around the world. We will be going down to South America. We will be going up to Russia. So our, t our television footprint is expanding and expanding more and more um, from year to year. So 218, we're looking forward to a big year in the, telev on the tel on television. Um, thank you very much. And uh, with no further ado, back to uh, you, Tim. All right, thank you, John. All right, on to Glory 47 Leon, which begins with a four-man featherweight contender tournament. And as we already mentioned, five rounds for the Glory Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. We start off with the first of two semifinals, Anvar Bornazarov taking on Fabio Pinka. I'm going to do it bigger than a 5X. 
Wanazarov out of Uzbekistan, 90 wins with 22 losses and two draws, 52 career knockouts. He's a two-time world Muay Thai champion, making his third glory start. 64.7 for Bornazarov. His opponent, Fabio Pinka. It's been a long time. Fabio with 107 career wins, 29 losses, four draws, and 42 career knockouts. He beat Mosab Amrani at Glory 36 in Oberhausen last December. 64.9 for Pinka. Fabio telling us yesterday how excited he is to fight in front of uh, friends and family. Three-time world and intercontinental champion. We'll have them stay with us. The winner of that fight will fight on into the finals later in the evening against Abdallah Esbiri and Aziz Lali. We have another hometown appearance here, Lyon, France. Abdella Esbiri, 43-12-1. This will be his second glory appearance. He actually debuted all the way back at Glory 8 in Tokyo. 64.9 for Esbiri. And now his opponent, Aziz Lale, fighting out of Morocco by way of Bordeaux, France. A victory here would give him his 100th career victory, 99-15-1 with 19 career knockouts. He's a 2011 European champion, a 2010 French national champion. I'm trying to free your mind. 64.5 for Lale. You're the one that has to walk through. Four men enter the tournament. One will walk away with the Ramon Decker's commemorative trophy. What a way to get Glory 47 Leon underway tomorrow night. And then a very much anticipated welterweight matchup, Johan Ledon taking on Cedric Dumbe. Ledon to the scales first, fighting out of his hometown of Lyon, France. 124 career victories with 78 knockouts. The Lumberjack made his debut in Paris at Glory 42 in June of this year. 79.9 for Ledon, a five-time French champion. His chronicler, who alone can tell His opponent, Cedric Dumbe. Dumbe, of course, a former glory welterweight champion of the world, a WKA world champion, winner of four of his last five, fighting out of Laval Wall, Paris, France. Seventy-six point six for Doom Bay. Hi. Hi everybody. Bonjour tout le monde. Ouais, je vais essayer de traduire à chaque fois parce que il y a des gens comme Johan qui. Me... Um, I want uh, before the face to face with Johan Bidon Lidon. I want to uh, say something because that's true. I put a lot of shit, sorry for the word. I put a lot of shit on the internet, you know. Um, that's not like, uh, that's, that's not like that champ act and I want to apologize. C'est vrai que, c'est vrai que j'ai mis beaucoup de, de j'ai fait beaucoup de trash talk sur les réseaux sociaux et c'est pas comme ça qu'un champion agit. Et aujourd'hui, 
empêché au poids, donc il faut fêter ça. Aujourd'hui, je voudrais présenter mes sincères excuses à Johan, parce que c'est quand même un ancien, c'est quand même 17 fois, 17 times world champion, and a lot of respect, and clap Johan for that. So, pour euh, présenter mes excuses à Johan, j'ai un petit cadeau pour lui, j'espère qu'il va l'accepter. Le français correct pour les nuls. Alors, non pas que tu sois un nul, loin de là, mais c'est le seul bouquin que j'ai trouvé. J'espère que tu veux accepter ce cadeau. Je pense que tu ne vas pas l'accepter, mais je, on, on peut l'applaudir quand même. Merci. Merci. Thank you very much. That's a present for me, for Johan. Il m'a coûté très cher, mais on s'arrangera après la, la pesée. Now, we can do the face to face. Be careful. Hey, pull up, hey, my love. I'm a guy, I'm a guy. 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 I'm a guy, Johan, we've got to give you a chance to talk as well. What are your thoughts on fighting Cedric Dumbe? Good luck for the best. And then it is your main event of the evening. Five rounds for the light heavyweight championship of the world. Our contender tournament champion, Ariel Machado, taking on current and reigning champion, Artem Vahitov. Machado up to the scales first, fighting out of the fight city of Curitiba, Brazil, 47 and 8 with 34 career knockouts. Comes in on a two fight win streak. He won the Ramon Deckers trophy and title shot in Chicago at Glory 38 with back to back wins over Hammerlane and Ilunga. Ninety-three point seven for Machado, and now the reigning champion of the world, Artem Vahita, fighting out of Kusbas, Russia. Great to have Artem back, eighteen and five with eight career knockouts, seven and one inside the glory ring. A three-time Russian national champion, two-time European champion, comes in himself on a four-fight win streak. 94.2 for the champion. Let's do it, my friend. Yeah, let's do it tomorrow. I'll be the champion. Yeah. Good luck, good luck. <laughs> I don't need a lot, my friend. No, this is my belt. Uh, no, it's my belt. I'll show you. Yeah. All right. Big show. <laughs> uh, let's get a quick word in here with the challenger. Ariel, what were you saying there to Artem when you guys were staring down? I see you. I will be the, the next champion, and I feel so good. And uh, I look afraid in his eyes, so I feel good. I feel better now. You said you saw fear in his eyes? Yeah, look, look at his eyes now. He's not good, but for me it's better. <laughs> when you see him fight, what makes you think you can beat him? So far he's been a, a dynamo at light heavyweight. Uh, I don't know. I just want to say for him, be careful tomorrow, my friend, because I'll be next champion. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the challenger. Ariel Machado, and now Artem Vahitov, light heavyweight champion of the world. You've been out with an injury for a long time. How does it feel to be back? I feel uh, good. I show, I show you tomorrow good, good fight, good uh, uh, technique. Uh, uh, in, uh, it's my all fight in in the France uh, win. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow uh, I show 
I, sh I show here uh, again. Uh, I respect with fighters. I respect uh, real, um, but but victory tomorrow uh, will be mine. Will you knock him out? This is, this is my bolt. This is my bolt. It's all, only my bolt. He says he's going to win with a smile, ladies and gentlemen. He's the champion, Artem Bahitov. <laughs> all right. Hats off to Artem for the English here today. I love it. Much better than my Russian, I guarantee you that. All right, we are thrilled to be back in France and here in Lyon. It's time for Glory 7, 47. Glory 47, Lyon. And all I have to say is, Lyon, it's time for Glory! Saturday, October 28th from Lyon. Mexican versus Alcantis. Cedric Dumbe versus Johan Ladon, and it's Machado versus Bahitov with a light heavyweight title. Glory 47 Leon, Saturday, October 28th. Check time and date in your area. Don't miss it.